I did not do that on purpose. Like, it's mad. <laughs> I think that's the Leo in me. Oh, yeah. They're like, bang. Uh, right? Oh, God, the Leo's are just. Please welcome to Pop Buzz, the one and only talented Leanne. Hi! How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, just excited good. to have you here. Hello. So at Pop Buzz, we like to spice things up a bit, do it a bit different. So yeah. you're choosing your own interview questions today. Ooh, okay. Basically, I'll give you two options for each round. You pick an option mm. and then I ask you a question based on what you pick. Does love that make that. sense? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we've got don't say or love. Ooh, Ugh, love. <laughs> oh, in Don't Say Love, you sing about wanting something real. Yeah. Is it ever okay to say I love you if you don't really mean it? No. No, I think it's such a big statement, mm -hmm. you know? So I feel like definitely only say it if you mean it. Have you ever said it if you didn't mean it or vice versa? Mm. I can only really remember saying it to my boyfriends at the time. So I feel like for me, that's like a big thing to say. So yeah, I definitely meant it. About you? Yeah, I've only had one boyfriend 10 okay. years, so. <laughs> yeah, you gotta mean it. We've, we've kept it real, it's yeah, fine. Definitely. How does the rest of the album compare to Don't Say Love? Obviously, Don't Say Love mm. is this like garage banger, yeah. which is amazing, but we know you're like an R&B queen, mm. so. So I think for the album, I just wanted to have a mix of all the different sounds that I've loved growing up or that like, I love to listen to. So that's like an accumulation of R&B, reggae, Afro beats, garage. For me, it's like mixing all those genres and putting my stamp on it. Amazing. Now, like many solo icons before you, you started out in an iconic girl group. So to honor that, round two is Little or Mix? Ooh. I'm gonna say Little. Okay. We're gonna get reflective. Okay. So, like the song Little Me, yeah. a very underrated yeah. Little Mix song. Let's go back to young Leanne. Yeah. If you could give her one piece of advice now, what would you tell her? Oh. <laughs> I would tell her, stop doubting yourself because you have everything it takes to smash it. You have everything it takes to make yourself proud and just do everything you've always wanted to do. Exactly. And now, is this the kind of album when you auditioned for X Factor originally as a solo artist, if you were making an album then, mm. would it be the same as the mm. album you've made now? I f hmm, it's a good question. I feel like over time, obviously all the experiences that I've had, like I've grown as a person, I've grown as a woman, so I feel like it would be different naturally because of the things that I'll be talking about, you know? Like I've actually experienced things, like there's so much to say. So yeah, I feel like it would it would be a very different album. Well yeah, because mm. you're now like the best performer you could possibly be, having had like 10 years in Little Mix, so. Yeah, and you know what, that's what's kind of like fueling me as well, the fact that I've got all that experience. Like to, to own the stage, like I know what I'm doing, I've had so much time to sort of perfect my craft, if that makes sense. Which you can but... see in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the video? I have the fans are gonna die. Oh. <laughs> now, you've also teased that you've worked with like these huge producers like Danger and Dark Child. Yeah. What can you tease about those songs and working with them? Wow, well, I mean, that was just like incredible. Like they're legends and Danger did all of that Nelly Potato stuff and Dark Child did like some of the best R&B songs, so. Yeah, I mean, just an honour to work with them. Um, there's one that we did, I did with Dark Child, it's just like this sexiest R&B song, like, oh! Yeah, um, I love it. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. Now, before we move on from the Little Mix section, I think you have like a Leanne live show. Obviously mm. we know in Little Mix, your favourite songs were often the mid-tempo songs that didn't get as much love on tour, mm -hmm. like songs like I Love You, Breathe, mm. Notice. Yes. Will we be seeing any of those in a Leanne live show or oh, will wow. it be strictly new material? Do you know what, that's a good question. Um, I feel like it would be a lot, obviously a lot of my um, solo material, but, I'm never gonna say no to flipping a little mix song. I mean, that would be, be kind of cool, I think. Touch acoustic. <laughs> right? We that would be my go-to. Mm. Everyone loves those high notes. <laughs> okay, yeah. so we've been lurking on your Twitter and we noticed that two of the first people you followed are some big icons, Mariah Carey and mm. Janet Jackson. So like, to give you the most impossible question, Janet or Mariah? Do you know what? I'm gonna say Mariah just because she's the reason that I'm here, because she's the reason I wanted to sing, so. Yeah. Okay, so Mariah obviously is one of the greatest artists of all time. Mm. Top three Mariah songs. This is honestly the hardest question for me. Um, oh, okay, this is how I'm feeling today. 
Mm -hmm. it, it would probably change. But Mile was always at the top, to be fair. Mile, I'm going to go with a song from the Glitter soundtrack. Or the real Just Mariah as for Glitter. Fans. Yeah. And I'm going to say um, Never Too Far. I literally used to belt that song all the time. You love a ballad, don't you? Oh, yeah. And then the third one. Oh, God, there's so many. I'm a big always be my baby. Stan. Oh my god, right? Like, okay, we'll go to a mix. I know it's mid. cheesy, but like, it's, yeah. it's beautiful. We'll do always be my baby, yeah. Fans have noticed on the single art for Don't Say Love that you actually pay homage to Mariah's Emancipation of Mimi cover. Why was that important to you? Complete accident, if I'm honest. Was it an accident? Yeah. I did not do that on purpose. Like, it's mad. The fact that like, I mean, a fan put um, the pictures side by side and I was like, whoa, wow, but it kind of like, I don't know, it made me feel like sort of fuzzy, like a, like wow, like a, like goose bumpy moment. I think, yeah, the fact that she is like such an, like well, basically my idol in that sense. Um, yeah, not special. But. And she's replied back to you on Twitter before. I know! Oh my god! <laughs> How did that yeah. feel? Mad. I did not expect that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, she's wicked. Mm. Amazing. Okay, we know you love a bit of astrology, you love your horoscope, so round four is star or sign? Star. Okay. Now, every person is compatible with different star signs. Mm. What star signs do you gravitate towards and which do you avoid? Ooh, I mean, I'd never like avoid someone based on their star sign. I don't know, I feel like... <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah, like that couldn't be like the defining factor for me to be like that. But I feel like, and I'm not just saying this because I am a Libra, but I feel like Libras are like, I don't know, there's just something about Libras. Like laid back, chill, just slightly balanced, I mm -hmm. guess. I don't know, like I just, I love Libras. There's not really one that I would avoid, to be honest. Because I feel like every person also has like pros, you know, like yeah. has like the like, really amazing traits, so. What's, what's your full birth chart, do you know? No, but I don't know my moon rising is Leo. I'm a Leo rising as well. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And in what ways are you a classic Libra? I think from being just oh, like a peacemaker. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I think like that's like the main thing and just sort of being a bit more chill and like just the weighing scales. Like I feel like that just kind of like symb symbolizes me, I think. It's balance. Like yeah. you're down to earth, but you're also yeah. a glamorous icon. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the Leo in me, God. <laughs> okay, final round. We're going to take things back and put the spotlight solely on you. Go back to your two given names, Lee or Anne. Oh, gosh. I'll go for the Lee. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, follow me. This is a bit tenuous, but I'm thinking Lee. I'm thinking, like, Addison Lee. Now, you've been... <laughs> you've oh, been no. a, a glamorous icon for over a decade now. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you used public transport? I mean, like taxis and stuff but um that's not public transport oh yeah. no 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 sorry <laughs> i do get the train actually no i have i have got the train um not that long ago like sometimes i go to london with my friends because i live in the countryside yeah um yeah i mean i've been on the underground like with like maybe this year at some point okay yeah and do you get I'm recognized not totally against it at all um yeah but not like not crazy i feel like everyone on the underground is kind of just like in themselves, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, that's true. Um, yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go rogue as well and ask you the Anne question anyway. You've decided to drop your last name for your solo name. Mm. Why was that important to you? I don't know, I feel like Leanne has more of like a punch, mm -hmm. you know? And I think Leanne Pinnock, I mean, I love my last name, but I feel like it's a bit formal. So I wanted to be like, yeah, you know, like bang. All the greats, mononyms, Madonna, Janet, Beyonce, Leanne, Whit. <laughs> and on the topic of Anne's, I mean, walk with me here. So you're a rom-com queen, obviously, you were in Boxing Day. Mm. Uh, another rom-com queen, Anne Hathaway. What's your favourite Anne Hathaway movie? Ooh, um, first one that comes to my head, Princess Diaries. Literally. Yeah. I feel like Princess Diaries for me is like up there, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Produced by Whitney Houston as well. Princess Diaries was yeah. produced by Whitney Houston. I didn't even know that. Oh my gosh. Okay, finally, what do you want to achieve with your solo music? The main thing for me, I guess, is just to be proud of what I put out there. Like, I've done this for so long now in the group and the good thing about this is everything that happens from now is a bonus. Like, I'm so proud of what I've achieved already in the group mm -hmm. and 
Like, that's why I'm kind of taking the pressure off myself a bit, if that makes sense. Like, I just want to be happy, I just want to enjoy every second. But I guess, I mean, a number one single would be nice. And <laughs> <laughs> a number one album. Come on, Legions. But, right? Oh, God, the Legions are just... I love them. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm not putting any pressure on myself, and I just want to just enjoy it and love and be happy and, yeah. Keep well, floating. This single is incredible. Thank you. You should just be so proud of what you've done so far. Thank and you. we cannot wait to hear this little album. Yay, thank you. Thank you so much, Leanne. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want more, make sure you subscribe below.